So thanks everybody for, uh, for joining or for those who are tuning in. Um, my name is Eric Peters. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Cognosante. Cognosante literally means cognos or to be cognitive, cognitive of and Sante means health. So we are a health IT focused company. We're a solutions company. So we bring managed services, some amount of product, and I really want to focus on what we've done with, uh, with Amazon HealthLake and strengthening our, strengthening our AWS partnership. So at the end of this, you know, I'm going to speak for maybe about 20 minutes, um, and here's my hope is that at the end of this, you're going to learn about how we're leveraging and extending HealthLake. So we are big fans of Cognizante, especially in the technical services and what we're doing research and development of starting with robust proven platforms like AWS brings to us as a partner, and specifically and more recently like we've seen with Amazon HealthLake. So what are we starting with their investment that they've made, the capabilities, the scalability, et cetera, how do we extend that in meaningful ways and target it to our customers? And I'll share a little bit about who they are and the problems that we're solving. Um, I also want to make sure that you, you'll, you'll actually see how are we driving to clinical insights. Um, you will often hear, well, what the care provider or the physician or the clinician wants is all of the data. Uh, our discovery has been they don't really want all of the data, they want the most salient data, they want the most actionable data, they want highly filterable data, and that's a primary focus area of ours is we're looking at how we bring fire to bear and maximize its strength. So in this particular case, the fact that fire has encapsulated discrete resources and data types so we can only grab what we need, what's most relevant, we can filter it, we can correlate it, and you'll see what we're able to do with AI and machine learning, leveraging the power of HealthLake to bring the right data forward at the right time with as minimal effort on our part as possible, which is something we're very interested in. Uh, I'm also going to talk a little bit about our approach to human-centered design. You know, I mentioned this idea that the care provider doesn't want all of the data, they want the most salient. Well, how do we continue to learn that? How do we continue to tailor our offering that it is answering the, the data questions that they have and the challenges that they're facing. So I want to give a real quick summary of sort of who we serve and what we do. I think it's important because uh, these are very uh, targeted problems that we're solving and our company, we bring a lot of expertise to that that really complements where uh, AWS is empowering us with HealthLake. So we are, as I mentioned, a solution provider. We are largely, albeit not exclusively, focused on health, um, supporting end users. We spend a lot of time uh, focusing on beneficiaries of Medicaid, uh, veterans who have served this country, uh, active, service men uh, active service members, and the like. And so we're very much about what is the mission of how we're supporting those who have need of those type of services. And what's most relevant in the scope of what we do here is we do build things as part of our solution offering. It typically comes with the services we provide and how we package that. And we're delivering it to our customers and continually measuring ourselves in how are we making sure that we're bringing the value that they expect. You'll also notice we have a, a very much a focus in health information exchange at the state or large regional level. We also support the nationwide exchange of healthcare data uh, that, that occurs as part of the eHealth Exchange Hub. And you'll see that that experience is what has driven us to maximize the benefits that HealthLake can offer us. So let me focus on the problem that we're solving and what we're looking to AWS to do uh, as part of this partnership. So we had over several years developed uh, ideas and approaches using human-centered design to how do we visualize clinical data meaningfully. You know, we've all seen uh, bad representations of that or challenging ones to navigate. Uh, we've also all seen viewers where the most salient data is not surfaced because you're dealing with unstructured documents is always a prime example that we all deal with. So how do we surface that information in an actionable way as quickly as possible, where we can do the minimum amount of work and we can complement what AWS brings to bear for us? So that shows up in a couple of ways. Uh, one is we were, as HealthLake was announced and launched by AWS, we were able to very quickly port our clinical viewer design pattern over to HealthLake because we had built the entire solution on fire as, as far back uh, to the very beginning. Uh, we're a founding member of the DaVinci Project. We've been very invested and focused in FHIR since its outset. 
And so because we had it, we had focused so heavily on that, we were able to transition and, and pivot to empowering Health Lake very, very quickly. So speed was a critical fa uh, focus for us. Leveraging NLP or natural language processing tools that come with Comprehend Medical as the data is being fed into the Health Lake and how we can surface up concepts and relationships. And I'll, I'll show you some screenshots of that here in a minute and talk more specifically about how that's empowering us for our customers. Uh, but this really enabled us to, uh, to leverage HealthLake as an accelerator so we could take a solution that we had started that wasn't as robust and powerful as it could have been, and we could move that over and set it on top of HealthLake and then maximize from the benefits that HealthLake brings to us. And we were able to do that in weeks and months as opposed to months and years, which is, which is good when we're trying to get solutions to our customers. So the viewer uh, that I'm going to show you and that we're talking about that we branded as eSante Clarity. eSante is our e-health platform of packaged solutions. Clarity is, the, is our uh, product where we are able to view clinical data. So highly terrible, tailorable, I mentioned earlier, because of the nature of fire resources, not only the encapsulation of the data in smaller bundles, but all of the resource relationships that exist, it makes it much, much easier for us to render that data in a cleaner, more organized way that's highly filterable and navigable for the user, which is not something we always experience in viewers of clinical information. Um, I mentioned because we're an earlier adopter of Fire, we had that expertise to port very, very quickly and pivot to maximizing the benefits that HealthLake afforded us. And then we were able to take the rest of the AWS tool set whether that's AWS Cognito or Lambda services or how we do data archiving and surround our solution with more robustness and enterprise capability because we are hosting this as a serverless solution that's running in the AWS cloud. So really maximizing not only the benefits of HealthLake, but all of the perimeter capabilities that Amazon brings us. Uh, we launched this into the, Am uh, the AWS uh, or Amazon HealthLake marketplace over the last few months. And so this is a solution that any end user can in a self-service modality say that's something that I want to use, I want to connect it to my health lake, I want to connect it to my data, and I want to, get, I want to be off and running very, very quickly. So that's something that uh, I'll show you a little bit more about. So how does this work? So one of the key things that we knew we had to bring to this was it has to be your data and your control. So we uh, were able to move our viewer and put it as a, uh, what I'll refer to as a facade on your health lake. But you are in control, uh, you are in control of the keys, you are in control of the auditing. We don't persist the data that's in the health lake. We simply put a viewer lens on top of the, uh, on top of the health lake and enable you to see the data that you have uh, so that you can surface it and make it more actionable. And I'll touch on a few specific use cases that I think are really relevant uh, here at the end as I wrap up. Um, we are also fully integrated, as I mentioned, with the balance, many of the other AWS service offerings. So that can show up as how we do single sign-on. I mentioned key management, identity and access management auditing and logging and all of that, and then of course all of the power that you're getting from your data already being in HealthLake. So you get to reap all the benefits of that in a very quick way to put this viewer uh, that, so that it can sit on top of HealthLake and surface the data in a meaningful way. So a couple of screenshots, and I'll just make a couple of key points. We are demoing, we have a demo kiosk a bit over here behind me. Um, as I wrap up, that's actually where I'll take questions at the end if anybody has any. Uh, but I would really uh, ask you to go take a look uh, live. You can sort of see uh, some of our folks go through and demo what does this look like and how do I use it and how does it bring value to bear. But I want to bring, I want to make a couple of key points that either you can listen to now or if you're able to make it over to take a look to, to kind of really focus on. Uh, so one, I mentioned this idea of because HealthLake is storing data in Fire, it gives us a much more out of the box organized way. So as we receive the data in those packages, it's much easier for our UI UX team to make the most of our human centered design engagement and really bring that data to, to the user in a meaningful way. And that gives us the ability to correlate everything to encounters, for example, filter by encounters 
filter by diagnoses, filter by physical exam type. And so you get this ability to sort of manipulate through the data in a way that you typically would not if all of the information is just put on the screen and it's up to the user to try to figure out and navigate. So the benefits of HealthLake being predicated on fire are immense and they're immediately visible in our opinion. Um, the other thing that I think you, is really worth focusing on, as I mentioned this earlier, and we all wrestle with this in healthcare, is what do we do with unstructured data that lives inside of unstructured documents? And one of our goals at Cognizante, and as we've built this solution and serve our customers, I'll go back to this theme of speed and velocity. How do we get insights to our customers quickly from their data? How do we get the solutions we develop in their hands quickly? How do we tailor and pivot them quickly so that as their needs change, we can adapt and be in a, be in a place to better serve them? How do we do all of that with so much speed? Um, and so, uh, one of the ways that this manifests out of HealthLake is that we can take an unstructured document that resides as a doc or a PDF or free text, et cetera, and HealthLake provides the structured ontologies automatically so that we can surface that up. So if you're looking for documents that are only affiliated with certain concepts or certain diagnoses, and as I mentioned, you can take a look at that real time. I think it's a much better representation if you sort of see it live and how we can take a blob of information and surface up with very little effort on our part because our AWS partner has put that effort in um, and that works out fantastically for us. So I want to sort of close and talk through a couple of specific use cases. Um, one of them I mentioned a few times is this idea of, of visualizing information. Um, and we think of that a number of ways, and, and, I, and you know, it can either start with a single patient view. Uh, as I mentioned, we do quite a bit of health information exchange, so saying I want to look up Jane Doe's medical record and I want to view that information as stored in HealthLake is a potential entry use case. Um, similarly, it might be that you're doing cohort analysis, and one of our focus areas in partnership with AWS is Finding information within a cohort is interesting, but making it actionable in most cases requires drilling down to the patient level. It's the, it, it's the patient who can, can implement interventions. It is that conversation with the patient about what their behavior should be, what they should be doing differently. So how do we go from a cohort level analysis and drill all the way into the patients within that cohort and surfacing their clinical information so it becomes actionable? And that could be, again, interventions or preventative measures that need to be taken. And so all of that surfacing of the information makes that actionable at the point of care or for somebody who's doing a study to be able to get down to a particular patient example. Um, the other use case is really understanding correlations. And uh, if you get a chance to take a look at Clarity, you'll see we do some interesting things with those relationships and some of them are enhancing what I would call basic temporal filtering. I just want to see data between these two dates and really encapsulating it into encounters or diagnosis types. In the case of uh, prescription management, for example, uh, one of the things we do is we create node diagrams that able, enable the user to visualize behaviors of the patient, of the pharmacy that are centered around diagnoses. So typically what you'll see is there's a list of medications and that can be often tough to mine. You've got active, you've got older medications. You're trying to navigate through that. But if you can visualize that information as nodes, so now I can see the relationship of prescriptions by pharmacy, by diagnosis, by patient, you can more readily and visually find things like frequent flyers or somebody who's abusing the system or uh, if there are uh, adverse uh, reactions that might have been missed and, those, and that type of information because it's very, very quickly surfaced. Um, and then the last thing I'll point out from a use case is really about empowering the users. As I mentioned earlier, you know, we serve everything from uh, physicians working at VA medical centers to physicians that are using or care providers more broadly that are using a viewer as part of a health information exchange. Uh, somebody who's doing cohort analytics and, and sort of that data science mining of, of, of looking for information within a large population. So with any one of those use cases, how do we tailor our offering and our solution to, to solving those problems very, very quickly? Um, and I would wrap by saying the way that we get there is because we don't have to focus on the core, we don't have to focus on the engine, 
AWS, in particular, HealthLake in this case, has surfaced up that data in a meaningful way, in an actionable way, so we can focus on the UI UX, we can focus on the tailoring and filtering, we can focus on the onboarding and the training and the outreach, and we can trust in the platform and the engine. And also bringing us back full circle to this idea of that it's your data, your control for the owner of the health lake. It allows us to focus above the health lake solution and not worry as much about the plumbing of how are we auditing that, how are we auditing controls, is that user authorized to access that data? All of that is in the hands of the data owner, which is exactly where it should be.